There's their new sign. So the old one got knocked out. That whole box got replaced. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. You could have gone faster. All right, yeah. I don't know that I can get in right now because I've, I've got Edison with me. Um, five at a time. That's the max in the Henry outlet. Let's see. You know, the others had a much more precise What's up? Can I buy you that? What does it say? What's it say? Read it. It doesn't say ham. It says radio on there, but not ham radio. Well, I might just order and we just swap it through. Huh? Who is it? No, it's not. The post office is packed today. What the hell? I got a pickup. Stop one is complete. We've got some kind of box here. I have a feeling I know what's in it. Should be good for this weekend. Hey everybody, diving in on what's going on this week a little bit. I'm taking a small vacation with the family. We're going up to Big Bear, California. And it is the first time that my wife and I have had a proper day off since uh, COVID kicked off. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. And this is going to be a lot of fun. We're taking a lot of antennas to this cabin we're renting and it's right on the water. I'm hoping this is all going to yield good results for the ham radio. It is noon on a Wednesday and this place is absolutely packed. What is going on? Already, this is getting out of control. You know what, I completely changed my mind. I am not going in that Walmart. I'm only looking for automotive stuff. I need to do an oil change on the truck and throw some anti, check the antifreeze. When I go to cold climates, high altitudes, I, I generally grab some extra stuff to throw in the car just in case. I very seldom need it, but you know, when you need it, you don't want to be cold and in the outdoors. I'm going to an auto parts store. <laughs> Forget that noise. That is crazy, the amount of people there. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're making a stop. I didn't talk so much about the linear satellites. Those are a bit different from FM. There's a little bit of a learning curve on that side of it. HRD will also do rotor control. So we will act if you had a, a you know an advanced an, an acceptable space to just be kind of a, a nerd, right? Like just yeah. kind of geek out on stuff. Nerd. I, I... Two wheel drive sidecar. Look at that. That's killer. Oh, this isn't a good way to start a ham radio adventure. My tire valve, the inner valve, uh, went bad, but it's kind of iffy. That's that's not good news. And I got miles to go. Our window's so dirty. Don't do that when you're driving on a mountain. What, oh my what's god. Gonna happen? You're not gonna be able to see. That's not funny. <laughs> it's kinda funny. Lay down and Watch that sun fly by Then let it dip and see the moon Take the sky Lay down your hair and feel that breeze Right on through Cause the days are so much better When you got that perfect weather And you never gotta end Oh, we're going to 
get past the, 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 the Chinese island down here. You're not going to see it. Alright, 1.3 miles. Very close. Very close. Alright, we made it. Made it to the Big Bear Lake. Renting a cabin. Let's go check it out. Mommy went outside. I'm going upstairs. Okay, go upstairs. Okay, come on. Come on, let me go. Let me go upstairs. Daddy. Edward, Daddy. Edward. I can't It's like queen size bunk beds. That's pretty nice. Here, just turn the lights on. Where are the lights? Whoa, dude. Damn. They got a PlayStation dog. Where the things to use it? Whoa, dude. Where the things to use it? Where's the sticks, dude? Right there. Don't jump on their couch. We got foosball too, dog. Right, let's check out where I'm gonna be streaming from. Got a little outdoor area picnic table and I got this great big tree right here and you can see that I'll check it out tomorrow but I'm definitely throwing an antenna in that tree that's what I'm gonna do I'll probably throw it from down there and have it come over the top <laughs> How's it going? I'm Josh KI6NAZ. Welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Today I am in a lakeside cabin or Lakeview Cabin uh, in Big Bear, California. I'm up here for about a week and I decided to drag a whole bag's worth of antennas that I have needed to get into tune and, and just spend some more time with. So today, we're gonna start it off with a bang. We're gonna use and build the DX Commander Expedition. Stay tuned. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Uh, yeah, Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu, come on in. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to check into the net. I heard you. I actually just finished setting up an antenna, so uh, the fact you're hearing me is already worth my whole day. Thank you for uh, letting me check in. Roger, thank you so much for checking in there, buddy. You didn't have any traffic for the net? Uh, at this time, I do not. Normally, I'm in Cerritos, California, but uh, weather, I understand, has been pretty good down there. Uh, where, where is the net control located uh, at, at this point? Okay, I, actually, I'm in uh, Kaisu, Oregon. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm talking to you on 5 watts right now, 5 watts. Uh, so this is great. I uh, really appreciate you letting me check in. Uh, negative traffic, negative traffic. Thank you, though. Roger, Roger, you, uh, you have a great day. Seventy freaks to you there, buddy, and thank you so much for checking in for the deck. 7-3, KI6NAZ. Wow. Oregon. Oregon. Five watts. Well, everybody, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed my little mini vlog covering kind of the start of my vacation. You're going to see the rest of it throughout the month of November. I'm going to do as many videos as I can on antennas in November. Both my short form videos are going to be based on antennas, and then I'm going to do a couple of live streams about antennas. So I hope you are excited for that. Many of the antennas you've asked about or have been thinking about, I have 
going to put together a review of and get that out there for you. I already shot most of it. I just need to edit it all together now. I'm going to wrap this up today with showing you our way home. We went a different route away from Big Bear called what we call the long way out. And it shows some of the damage from the El Dorado fire that just happened. Man, it is intense, uh, the amount of damage that has happened to the forests in and around the Pacific seaboard, California being, you know, one of the big ones. But obviously we have all the fires that happen up north as well. And you can see some of that uh, right now. So a little bit of a downer. I apologize, but I thought it was so just um, powerful seeing it uh, myself firsthand. And here's some of those clips. So anyway, I'm Josh, KI6NAZ, and I'll talk to you again soon. We're going to be talking about antennas in November. I hope you're ready. Thanks so much for watching. Click subscribe. Click that bell notification so you get notified when I go live, which is every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Right here, scorch damage.